Hello everyone, it's me Christine again, and today I've got for you some actual nail art. Yay! That's right, I did nail art on my nail channel. Please clap with me so I'm not alone. Today we're gonna break some boundaries and we're gonna do some nail art that actually looks good, that isn't stupid. <laughs> but of course it's hollow and it's very fitting for the fall season. I'm so fashionable with my nails. Do you see how I'm on trend with Argyle? That's, that's in style right now, right? Today I am so hollow happy to be sponsored by Super Chic Lacquer to show off their new eight piece holographic fall collection. You may recall a few months ago I played with another one of their one coater linear hollow collection and I just about died. So naturally I was happy to be satisfied all over again. You too can be satisfied with hollow this warm cozy fall season by clicking the link below in the video description box. How's that for a sales pitch? Are you horny for hollow yet? I would say that most of the collection does fully cover in one thick enough coat, but I think these two slightly lighter colors are a little on the sheer side, so you're probably gonna need two coats. But hey, what do you expect? These are the colors of an angel. I'm gonna link Just Face 90's swatch video of this collection down below because she does a great job at showing how they apply on the nail. Unlike me, because I am lazy. Oh my god, guys, it's a hollow pumpkin spice latte. All right, let's jump right into the nails. I'm starting off with a peel off base coat because there will be peel porn, but it will only be on my Snapchat because I wore these nails for like a week and didn't want to take them off. Snap Squad knows what up. Let's start off with the dark eggplanty hollow purple base. Oh, that is so rich. I feel like a royal. Yep, I would call that a one coat wonder, except I, I, was, I got drunk on the hollow and put it all over the side of my skin. And now we're gonna paint this really detailed argyle print on our nails. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Um, I don't actually know how to freehand paint anything, so I'm just gonna show you how I cheat that system. <laughs> I find I'm okay enough at freehanding if I have some kind of guidelines already on my nails to then trace or follow. So that's exactly what we're gonna do by making some sticker strips of nail polish into the shape of the diamond. For best results, I like to use one of my nail art mats and some straight nail vinyls because it makes the edges really clean when you peel them off. Gonna do it with the green now. I know these don't look like diamonds yet, you smart ass. I know they are long rectangles. Don't worry, geometry class will save us. We're gonna make some diamonds out of long rectangles. It's amazing. I know. Sometimes if you put just the nail polish on the mat alone, it can be a bit brittle when you try and peel it up, so I like to add a thin layer of clear polish on top. When that's dry, it's time to peel. Now you're gonna take a pair of tiny scissors, cut off the edge on a slant, or if you're like me, just try and cut it straight and it will turn out slanted, and just like that, you have near perfect diamonds. Repeat many times, beautiful custom shapes by Christine. Now we basically gotta stick them on our nails, and to do that, you just add some clear polish or top coat, whichever. Make the nail a little bit sticky, and then stick it on. It's quite simple. Just don't put it in the wrong spot, because then it's really hard to move it around after that, so make sure you place it correctly the first time. Don't worry about the little bits of clear polish that are sticking out of the diamonds on the sides. They're all gonna disappear when we cover everything in a glossy taco. Now I'm just taking my trusty cleanup brush, dipped in a bit of acetone, to melt the clear polish off the edge. Now add more diamond. So make your nail a bit sticky with some clear polish. Press down the diamond and the other one. On the side of your nails, it's a little bit trickier because you're gonna have to do some surgery to remove the excess. So look at me go. I'm I'm basically qualified to be a surgeon. Look at, look at that precision. Repeat on the other side until you've covered your entire nail in beautiful, perfectly shaped diamonds. The secret to making this kind of technique work and not having it look clumpy as fuck is to make use of that cleanup brush dipped in acetone to really melt the edges and meld everything together. There's a couple more nail art steps, but first, just to show you how you seal it all in, I'm gonna use my favorite glossy taco of all the glossy tacos in the land. 
and I don't mean Taco Bell. If you are ever wondering which glossy taco I'm using in all my videos that works so well, it's this one. I put the link below. I've been using it for well over six months now and it's all that I ever use because it is that good. I like my tacos nice and thick and glossy, okay? And I like it when it dries really quickly because if you know me, I love my nail vinyls and I want that shit to dry faster so I can get to work. Speaking of work, let's not get distracted by these really satisfying, fascinating bubbles in the taco. Now we gotta make our argyle nail sweaters even more pretentious and preppy by taking a striping brush dipped in some pumpkin spice latte hollow. That's not what it's called, but that's what I'm calling it. And because I already have the diamonds on my nails, it's a lot easier to know where the line should go. Down the middle. Don't f it up, Christine. Don't f it up. So if you would like to paint straight lines on your nails, make some stickers of straight lines, put them on your nails first, and then paint straight lines on your nails after you put them. Yeah, any anyways. Now we're gonna go all out like Blair Waldorf and add some beautiful stitching using just a bit of white acrylic paint and hopefully a steady hand. Is it a Hermes bag? Is it a Balenciaga? But well, how the f do you say that bag? Nope, it's just my nails looking like Argyle. All swaggity swag and shit and on trend. Hopefully. Now it's my favorite part all over again. Oh yeah, we get to seal it all off in a thick, glossy taco. Mmm, that shine porn gets me every time. And there you have it. I have reminded everyone that I am somewhat of a nail artist. <laughs> I think this color combination turned out flawless for fall. And I can definitely see this pattern or maybe a plaid design working with the other colors in this collection. Because Super Chic is an indie brand, they tend to sell out really quickly. So if you wanted some of these colors from the fall collection, you gotta get on that girl. Click the link below, get them before they gone. If you do something inspired by me, including nail art and other stupid video ideas, don't forget to tag me on social media so I can see, especially on Twitter. That's where I see the most because that's where no one follows me. <laughs> All right guys, thanks so much for watching and I gotta let you know that there's not gonna be another video for a week because the next one is gonna take me a while to edit, but don't worry because let's just say it's gonna come out with a bang. -er. See y'all later, bye. Thank you.